Once upon a time, in the historic DQ times. Dairy Queen times? Yes! DQ. During quarantine times. Ah, uh, yes. Much darker. Three sisters and their father lived alone in a big castle until one day their father received a letter from Scotiabank informing they had broke and spent all their serve on DoorDash. With the little money they had left, the father told the daughters that they could each ask for one gift. Papa, I want a live reenactment of the Bee movie using actual bees and voiced by Jerry Seinfeld. What's the deal with the Bee movie? You got it, daughter. Papa, I want a life. I'm so bored in quarantine. Hmm. How about a friend? Maybe one of Snow White's seven dwarves. I heard they live in a forest around here. Preferably dopey. Well, Papa, what I'd like more than anything in the world is a charger for my Nintendo Switch since I lost mine. Of course, this will be the easiest gift to find in the woods. And so he went off on his journey through the forest to find treasures for his wonderful daughters. I found Dopey, I found the B-movie, but I still cannot find that charger. And I think I may have lost my way. Won't find it here. Nope. Ah, oh, yes! This is where I'll find that Nintendo Switch charger. Papa enters the castle. He stumbles around and finds the beast rocking some karaoke. It sounded like a dying donkey. Shot through the heart and you're to blame, darling, you give love a bad name. <laughs> It's 12 p.m. on a Friday Into the woods I go I found some bees and a dwarf named Dopey But I'm missing the charger though I feel so lost and scared to the core The thought has dawned upon me There's a castle quite near and a man with a beard once told me that he made the switch. I heard a faint sound in the doorway, and the first thing that I am to see is a big hairy beast walking some karaoke. I thought that I could join in Move along! This song was supposed to be a solo! Roar! Oh gee golly, Papa is sure taking a long time. I hope he's okay. Worried about her Papa, Belle used what was left of her Serb check to take her to an Uber at the edge of the woods. She wandered around trying to find any clues as to where he might be.
Hey there. You look strange related to this older gentleman who abducted me from my room last night, made me dress up as a bee, forced me to recreate the bee movie, and then disappeared into that castle over there. Papa! Yes, that's what I think he said his name was. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, take me with you! I feel like you being dressed as a bee would be a distraction. Ouch, that stings. I'll just buzz off. And so Belle approached the gates of the mansion. No pop charms come to miss my daughter so. Where are the bee and the bee should not have let them go. Isn't there something out there to ask me? In this cage I toss and I turn and I dream of getting free. I need a hero, holding up for a hero to the moonlight. And they've gotta be strong and they've gotta be fast and they've gotta be lost in life. I need a hero. Papa, Papa, I found you and I'm gonna get you out of here. Belle, you must go. The beast is right behind you. <gasps> what? Do, do I have something in my teeth? Please let my father go. He's not well. Ha! <laughs> let him go? He tried to steal my Nintendo Switch charger. I asked him to get me one. This is my fault. Please. For you? Wait, wait. You play Mario Kart? Occasionally, but I prefer Animal Kart. Okay. You're free to go, old man. I'll keep her instead. Fine, but I'll never play a two-player with you. Well, thanks for the karaoke tunes. I quite enjoyed myself. It's not so bad, Belle. I promise. And so, Papa happily left the beast alone with Belle. And one last thing. You'll be joining me for dinner. So what's your name, girl? Um, Angelica, but people call me Belle. You really are a beauty. And you're a beast! Well, that could have gone better, Master. What are you going to do now? Who are you? Where are Lumiere and Mrs. Potts? We're in quarantine. But we're here. I'm Papier Toilet here to wipe away your problems. Not mask. I got you covered. All right. Well, I am at a loss. I'm in love with that girl, and I don't think she feels the same way. Probably not. Yeah, you just met. What should I do? Sing her a song! Yeah, but make sure to practice social distancing. about to change your life. Your very own library of Nintendo games and consoles. It's all yours. I love it so much. Must have taken hours. If it takes thousands of Nintendo games to keep you happy, then it's worth it. One week later, I'm making you dinner nightly. Now my life gets better. Every story you recite me. Looking at your 
such a beauty, everything feels so unreal. If you were me, you'd really understand just how I feel. Two weeks later in my bedroom and I'm stressing. It's almost dinner and I want to ask you for my blessing. From dine and shine and you wine and dine. And I'm trying not to cry, this is nothing that you're mine. So I make my way across the room. I panic for a second to give you an answer. Then I ask the question I've been waiting to. Then you say, peace, I don't think I can marry you. To make me happy, there's only one thing you can do. Please show me my father. I know he's sick and dying. If you don't let me go, you'll have to deal with all my crying. Please, beast, I need to help him get through this on winter. He confides in me, he saved me from my so greedy sister. No doubt he could die and it would be my fault. Do you really want me to live on with that heavy loss? I've been living without my father since you took me away. He's the only one that loves me still to this day. If I could see his face on tour, my heart would be healed. As long as I'm in here to be, I swear to God, I'll be healed. I do, I do, I do, I do. And take this charger with you. I know you needed to charge your switch. We can play Animal Crossing together, and that way you'll always be able to look back and remember me. I wish that someday I could be her man. I wish that someday I could be her. I wish that someday I could be her. Papa, what's wrong? I caught the COVID. I'm sick, but I'm recovering. It must have been one of those seven dwarves. They have too many people in their social circle. No wonder one of them was so grumpy. How are you, my lovely daughter? Have you, do you sing karaoke with the beast? He has an impressive voyage, similar to the late Andrea Bocelli. Yeah, we did some Hamilton. He gave me his foot to the He even agreed to play Animal Crossing with me. I should go check on his town right now. Papa, his town has grown overweighted and all of the villagers are angry. Something must be wrong. I'm afraid the villagers might kill the beast. Wow, complimenting his game skills? That's serious for you. Something must be going on with you two. Are you in love with him? I... I... Enough said. You must go to him. I'll be okay here. Thank you, Papa. Thank you so much. And so Belle took a lift, because Uber was taking too long, to the Beast's castle. She flung open the castle door and ran up to his room, only to find him on the ground, clinging to his Nintendo Switch. Oh no, Beast, what happened? Well, the Beast insisted on playing Animal Crossing day and night for some reason. Didn't even stop to use the bathroom. Yeah, and I had to keep cleaning up his mess. Never mind that. He grew sicker and sicker as the switch battery life ran out. Belle! You came back! Beast, I'm sorry. I should have never left you, especially without your charger. I love you, I love you so much. And I will go on two-player with you. I can even play Mario Kart. Please don't leave me. And as quickly as the charger goes into a socket, the spell began to lift. The beast before her very eyes turned into a handsome prince with mad gaming skills. Spell? East, it really is you. The spell lifted throughout the kingdom, and the plague of COVID was no more. True love had finally broken the spell. And the mask, paper toilet, 
return to their human form. Belle and the prince spent the rest of their days sharing the Nintendo Switch charger. The end.